All right, I know Jokic and a lot of other good players this year, Joel Embiid, Giannis, James Harden. I mean, you can keep going on and on. You know, a lot of people should say they should be MVP, but I think Chris Paul is the MVP this year. It's the real MVP, even if he don't get it. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, and share the video. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. And they say, you know, LeBron James, and he's 35, 36 years old. Well, so is Chris Paul. Chris Paul is 36 years old. He'd be 30, I mean, 35, he'd be 36 in May, May 6th to be exact. Okay? You look what he's doing, you know. He, Numbers can't, me can't measure what he's doing in Phoenix. He averages 16 points a game, almost five rebounds, 8.8 .8 assists, 49, almost 50% from the field, 37% from three, 93% down there from the three-point line. But that, that ain't just it. That's the same team from last year. People said, well, they had the momentum. They had the momentum coming out the bubble. They had the momentum in the bubble. I don't think Phoenix will be, will be second – in the West without Chris Paul. You know, and you look at the roster that they have, you know, a lot of these players is going get, to get better regardless. But, you know, Sarge, you know, is a good player. You know, you talk about uh, Booker, tremendous player, Jay Crowder, Mikael Bridges. A lot of these dudes are tremendous players, but Chris Paul is going to help the Cam Johnsons of the world, Mikael Bridges of the world take that next step. You know, and I was watching that uh, Utah game last night, which they went to overtime, went to sleep. But, you know, and, and people look at his numbers. He had 29 points last night, nine, but it's just how he make everybody better. He made the game easier for Booker, and Booker started to really get that stride and get used to playing CP3. He going to make the game easier for Aiden. He going to make the game easier for Bridges. He going to make the game easier for Crowder, Cameron Payne. I mean, Cameron Johnson, Cameron Payne. All them dudes going to play a lot better. All them dudes are going to be a lot better because of Chris Paul. And I know some dudes yesterday were talking about, well, Grizzlies carrying John Morant because they're looking at the numbers. John Morant is going to make them dudes get easy buckets, even if it's the hockey assist. You know, even if it's the hockey assist. He's going to make sure them dudes get buckets. And that's Chris Paul. You can't measure his impact in numbers. You can't. You can't measure what he do in numbers. You know, you know, just the little things, even if it's a hockey assist or even if it's, if, if it's leadership. I mean, what he bringing to Phoenix is similar to what Tom Brady brought to Tampa. Leadership, veteran leadership, stability, belief. And usually when Chris Paul healthy, wherever he go, he make him better. Look at Oklahoma City Thunder last year. Nobody thought that team was going to be in the playoffs. Nobody, people thought that team would take Houston to seven. You can't measure impact by numbers. It's a very, very analytical time period, numbers-driven time period. But you can't measure what Chris Paul brought to Phoenix in numbers. You can't, you can't measure that. Numbers shouldn't be the sole or the, the, the number one thing you put in. You, you doing MVP impact. Winning has become a diminished, act, a diminish, diminish. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but they diminish winning. They diminish winning. How can you diminish getting a W? That's what matters. And it's because of LeBron James. So LeBron James, if LeBron James won, everybody be talking about winning. But his fans, and I ain't talking about the young people. I'm talking about them old people that became fans of him. It's pitiful. Bill Russell was about winning. Magic and Birdie was about winning. Michael was about winning. Because you're not getting to the finals and getting your ass kicked every two, every, every damn year. And that's the, that should be the biggest factor in MVP. Valuable, most valuable player. Chris Paul is the most valuable player in the NBA to the Phoenix Suns. You know, think of, think about it for a minute. He get there and now they the second seed. They didn't make the playoffs last year. He get there and they the second seed. He get there and now he's impacting. He's he's impacting Devin Booker now. Devin Booker getting let off the leash, not healthy. It's going to be over with. They're going to be a hard team to put out. You don't want to see them in the first or second round. They're going to be a hard team to get out of there. Now, now Chris Paul is showing them brothers how to win. Now he's showing Devin Booker how to get, you know, he's getting Devin Booker in his comfort, in the comfort spots. Only a true point guard can get a guy like Devin Booker. is Because Devin Booker used to have the ball in his hand and all of that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to keep chopping it up about him.
Chris Paul is value. You look at Jokic, and I love Jokic. I love his game. I think he he probably is probably deserving of anybody as an MVP. But Denver is the fourth team, fourth team this year. They fourth, and they've been healthy all year. Chris Paul took a team that was a nine playoff team. I'm talking about LeBron being valuable, AD just is valuable. You know, and what he's done with Show Devin Booker that you don't need the ball in your hand all the time. I can get you in your comfort spots. I can set you up to get easy bucks. You don't have to go one on five. One on one, we can get you moving out the basketball, get you easy buckets. Booker really can realistically average forty, but it wouldn't be healthy for the team. What's healthy for the team is him him scoring him scoring in, in the right situations, because once you once you like do like team score scoring them points, and then they they trap you or you need to make the extra pass, you need to count on somebody to make a bucket. Cam Johnson will have it's always important to get everybody in the rhythm. Once everybody in the rhythm and everybody running good and everybody confident. This is going to make Devin Booker that much dangerous. And that's what Chris Paul is trying, probably trying to show him. That's what Chris Paul is trying to show him. Like, hey, you know, you can be even more of a dangerous threat if you allow you allow me to get you better socks, better shot selection, better better shots. You allow me to get everybody involved. Because DeAndre Ayton is going to be just as important. And Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson. All of them going to be important. Sarkic. Sarkic. All I'm do is gonna be important, but Chris Paul brings leadership. That's what it means. This is if they and I hope Phoenix won a championship, and I wouldn't be mad if Donovan Mitchell won now won you know, or Denver won or LA, the Clippers won. But I really or Damian Lillard, I would love to see Phoenix win a championship. Chris Paul winning a championship would be the best thing, you know, this year I've seen. That'd be like Tom Brady winning one in Tampa. He go he went to Phoenix and they won game out the, out of, out of, in the lost column out out of number one. You would like to see them kind of push a little bit more, maybe for one more thing, but they got a lot of young talent. And you know who I'm happy for? James Johnson. Remember, not, is it James Johnson? Well, I forget the dude's name, man. He uh played with LeBron and got on the damn uh championships. James Johnson. Yes, yeah, James Johnson. My bad. James Jones, excuse me. He's the GM in Phoenix. A lot of people don't remember uh James Jones. Is that so, you know, it'd be huge for Phoenix to win the championship. Hopefully they do. But hey. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, check the NBA Talk playlist. I'd be happy for Monty Williams, too. I believe he lost his wife. He'd be beautiful for finishing the championship this year. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. All our social media links description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Facebook group link in the description as well, too. If you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJGood313 in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Good fellow Sports TV. Peace.